we're like each one of us is the patsy pretty much it's pretty much we're actually controlled by by our record label they kind of write everything and um and then we just like thrust out on stage and yeah. and we just we just mime it makes me feel cheap and i don't used. know they removed they removed my emotions years ago yeah I, I still have a shred of mine and it makes me feel like a like a used harlot hey i'm Yanis from falls hello i'm jimmy from falls we've got a new album coming out called holy fire and it's costing um it, it's priced at a regular record price at um, all all non-existent record stores near you There are some people that can put out three records in a year or, or constantly expose all of their workings like through just putting up loops and SoundCloud or just, they expose the whole process. The way that we work, at least at the moment, is that we don't really do that that much and so what ends up happening is that you have, you have the record that's like this defined, finished thing, but actually behind it you have 50 or 100 versions of this of one song. The album version of a song is not necessarily the song that the, the, the musicians have in their head. And even beyond that, there's loads of stuff that we write um, that never gets used. So you have like this kind of sorrow almost about all these like things that, you, that you've made that um, never really get the attention that these 11 tracks that are on the album, and then yet all your other children are left in the dark. Um, so it's something that you kind of have to come to terms with because Otherwise, it can kind of drive you insane. And, and also, what you end up doing is trying to make the album the expression of everything you want. You kind of overload the album by either trying to put everything into it. And a lot of the best records are made because you understand what you need to leave, like what needs to be left unsaid. When, when we've written a song, there's always like the fragment of an image in your head about what it should look like. So if you pass that on to a director like Dave, then he's gonna make it look like you want it to. So we, we've done four or five yeah, with, with Dave. With Dave, and, and um, yeah, we, we just we go through all of the concepts prior to it. I think most bands do, because I don't think, I, you, you know, you wouldn't want to be in a situation where somebody's making a video for you that um, you've got no involvement in. I mean, I always wonder what it, what it's like for like a solo musician. Must be a lot easier to fuck it up. Makes it easier getting up on stage, I think, with five people. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, yeah, definitely. I wouldn't want to do that alone. <laughs>